How would you describe yeah. it? I don't know how to describe it. That's the problem. But it's, it's the world of fairy tales, and it's it's about you know. What's interesting about the brothers is that one is a cynic and a pragmatist and a real realist, and the other is a dreamer. And it's kind of which world is going to win, <laughs> and and it was important to try to build a world where you felt that the fairy tales a lot of us have grown up with are alive and well in that world, and, and also that you'll see other glimpses of fairy tales that might one day become things we recognize. It was. That was part of the fun of doing it. Yeah, I know, and this is our big problem, is we're sort of obsessed with facts at the moment. We're inundated with facts, information, but it doesn't really give meaning to your life. And, and I do think dreams, fantasy, uh, imagination are the things that take you to another level, and you need both of those. I mean, and I've, I mean, almost all my films have been about kind of that borderline between where reality ends and fantasy begins, and I think you need both. In, if you don't have both in your life, it's a pretty miserable existence, if you ask me. <laughs> No, no, I mean, the world can be wonderful, but you've got to open your eyes, you've got to see it, you've got to find it, it's out there. But if you obsess only about facts and things that you can measure, you won't see it. It'll, it'll miss you. you no, know, I actually I thought Matt was going to play Monica's part and Heath was going to play Lena's part. But then I decided, no, it's best to have the men play the male parts. But, you know, that's what we do. <laughs> but it would have been interesting. Yeah. They're great. Both of them are wonderful actors, number one. They're great. They're both really talented, really intelligent, and they bring, I think, believability to these characters, because you could play this thing much broader, you could... When I first read the script, I always felt like they were kind of contemporary guys going off to interesting 19th century, ye olde Germany. And I wanted guys that, even though they're not strictly period people, they still feel you know, contemporary, but they also feel totally right in that world, and it's... Uh, and they... I mean, I just loved watching them work together, and they, because so much of the story is about these brothers who, you know, grown up together. And then I thought, well, we've got to try to pull them apart, and see how far we can pull them before, you know, they either they snap back together or they completely divide. And that's and that's what both of those really went down that the road. There's a terribly ugly scene, which is scene 91, uh, when they have their first fight, and it's just ugly. It's just ugly, and I want it to be ugly because I wanted the audience to say, "Oh no, this, this, they're going to completely. One's going to kill himself," and of course they don't, and they team up and blah blah blah. But it was trying to get something that was believable, and I think I think we did it. It's kind of messy. It's not your normal macho fight. It's messy and, and, and realistic. I think yeah, for brothers. I know. I know, and it's 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 actually humiliating. It's actually a painful scene watching that. Watching Heath sort of go like, mm -hmm. and he goes away, absolutely humiliated in front of the girl of his dreams. Painful stuff. But I thank God fairy tales saved the day. <laughs> Beautiful. I loved it. I mean, I really, really loved it because Prague itself is, is kind of a fairy tale city. It's so beautiful and it's ancient. And, and it, kind of, it kind of fueled me working there. Just every day I'd come back and there's the city around me. The studio was wonderful. The checks were great to work with, because uh, if you, you look at all the extras in the film, these faces are fantastic. The villagers, they're believable. They're real, like real people, not like a bunch of Hollywood extras that have put on some peasant costumes. Uh, no, they were, they were great to work with, and, and it was the whole, that was the joy, being able to live in Prague for, what was I there, six, seven months.